friends, I'm Angel Nandra Bhalerao. I'm studying in Poddan International School in class 10. Today, we are going to see question and answers of an English lesson. The name of the lesson is Two Stories About Flying. Part 2, The Black Airplane. But before watching this video in detail, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's start. Two Stories About Flying. Part 2, The Black Airplane. Thinking about the text, page 40. Question 1. I'll take the risk. What is the risk? Why does the narrator take it? The answer is, a huge storm was brewing up and the author was keen to reach his home to spend his holiday with his family. So, he decided to fly through the storm as he did not want to miss the chance to meet his family at breakfast. Thus, he took the risk even when the visibility was almost zero in the storm. Question 2. Describe the narrator's experience as he flew the airplane into the storm. The answer is, as the pilot, the author, entered the storm, his plane started jumping and twisting. He could not see anything outside the plane as it was black. When he looked at compass and other instruments, they had stopped to function due to storm. It was a terrible and fearsome experience for him. The fuel tank was almost empty and he could not fly more than 10 minutes. Then he saw another black airplane by his side and the pilot of the plane signaled him to follow. It was a surprise for the narrator as the other black plane was having no light. He followed him without any choice and landed safely on the runway. Question 3. Why does the narrator say, I landed and was not sorry to walk away from the old Dakota? The answer is, after landing the plane, the narrator wasn't sorry to walk away from the old Dakota as he had a horrific experience of flying that plane. Finally, he was happy that he had landed the plane safely. That's why he wasn't sorry to steer away. Question 4. What made the woman in the control center look at the narrator strangely? The answer is, the woman in the control center looked at the narrator strangely because the narrator asked her about the black airplane and she saw no one except the narrators in the sky during the storm. Even the radar showed only the narrator's play that night in the sky. Question 5. Who do you think helped the narrator to reach safely? Discuss this among yourselves and give reasons for your answer. The answer is, it is very difficult to say about the unknown pilot who helped the narrator, but probably it was the narrator himself that helped him to overcome the fear in the storm, as no other plane was seen in the radar except the narrator's Dakota plane. In that fearsome situation, he might have been hallucinating. He himself was a good pilot and brave enough who helped himself land safely. Extra questions. Question 1. How did the writer get out of the storm in the night to land safely? The answer is, the writer was flying his old Dakota airplane when he saw the black clouds. He was lost in the storm. Suddenly, he saw a black airplane by his side, which had no lights on its wings. The pilot instructed the writer to follow as he had lost the way. He obeyed him like a child. He was very happy to follow him. After some time, the pilot of another plane started to land. The writer followed him blindly through the storm and came out of the clouds. He saw the lights of the runway and landed safely. Question 2. Why was the writer happy when he decided to fly in the night? The answer is, the writer was very happy when he decided to fly that night because he was going home to his family to enjoy his holiday. When he started, everything seemed to be perfect. The sky was clear, no clouds could be seen. He was flying back to England in his old Dakota airplane over France. He was happy being alone in the sky and was dreaming of his holiday. Question 3. 
the black airplane is a mystery story explain or do you agree that the black airplane is mystery justify your answer with reasons the answer is yes the black airplane is a mystery story the pilot of the old dakota was caught in the storm he was helpless as his instrument had stopped functioning he did not know what to do suddenly he saw a black airplane flying next to him it was a strange plane flying in the storm without lights the pilot of the black airplane helped him in landing safely on landing he turned back to look for the friend but he had disappeared the black airplane had gone the lady in the control center told him that he was the only one flying that night there was no other plane he could not understand who helped him it was really a big mystery question 4 Define the values that reflect from the actions of the pilot of the old Dakota airplane when he wanted to thank the pilot of the black airplane or the pilot wanted to thank another pilot after his safe landing why what values of the writer are reflected from his actions the answer is the pilot of the old Dakota was caught in the storm he lost his contact with the control room In this troubling situation the fuel tank was also empty he lost all his hopes but suddenly a strange black plane appeared the pilot of the black plane asked the rider to follow him the rider landed safely after his safe landing he wanted to thank the pilot of the black plane this shows his gratitude towards the safe pilot of black plane he was thankful to him for saving his life it shows that the pilot of old dakota had a values of gratefulness okay friends so these were the question and answers of the english lesson the black airplane i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button share with your friends and if you have any suggestions for me please write in comment section bye have a good day thanks for watching this video